In this video, we're going to be learning about the simplest NOT gate that you can make. So before we actually try to make one, what is a NOT gate? Well, a NOT gate we typically draw like this. It's a little triangle with a circle at the end. And a NOT gate, when we feed it in a zero, the output is one. And when we feed it a one at the input, the output is a zero. And so we can draw this in what we call a truth table, where we plot the input against the output. And so if we have an input of a zero, our output is one. If we have an input of one, our output is zero. And so this is what's called a truth table, and it just maps our input to some output. Now the NOT gate only has one input. It's sort of the, the simplest possible gate in that regard. So how do we actually make a NOT gate? Well, we can start off by using a transistor, in particular an NMOS transistor. So this transistor, when the input, let's say, is one volt, uh, instead of ones and zeros, when we work with transistors or the physical world, we have to work with voltages instead of just abstract ones and zeros, then the transistor is on or it acts like just a, just a wire from point, let's call this point A to point B. It just acts like a straight up wire. But when the input to that transistor is zero volts, the transistor acts like an open circuit or it acts like an open switch. So from point A to B, no current can flow. It acts like an open circuit. And so we can use this, uh, just a single transistor, to start making our NOT gate. So when we feed this transistor, if we connect it to ground, when we give it an input of one volt, the output, which let's draw right here, will be connected to ground or zero volts. And that's exactly what we wanted from our NOT gate. But the problem is when we apply zero volts to this transistor, because it's open, the output isn't connected to anything. So we, we can't just make a, a NOT gate with a single transistor. We have to add something else. And one something else that we can add is a resistor. So if we add a resistor here, let's say, for example, a, a one kilo ohm resistor, then when the input to the transistor is zero, the output is going to be, if this is just open circuited, the output is going to be connected to our one kilo ohm resistor. And so the output is going to be equal to one volt or the one that we were looking for. And so this works. Um, now, when we feed this transistor a one volt, it will be on, so it will act just like a straight wire. And so it's as if we just had a wire going straight to ground. And so there's some current flowing through our resistor from one volt to zero volts. But because this transistor acts like a perfect switch, the output is still equal to zero volts. Now, this isn't a perfect NOT gate because ideally we don't want this current to be here. So ideally we have zero current when our input is either zero or one, but this doesn't allow that to happen. So while this might be the simplest NOT gate, in practice it's actually very rarely used. And in the next video we'll talk about what is mo much more commonly used, which is using two transistors. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.